What's up guys, Ryan here from Mud Gunner, and I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. It has been 150 days in a row of posting a daily YouTube video. It's a lot of work, but I've enjoyed the process and uh, the channel's growing slowly, and I think we can just keep it going for all of 2024. My goal is to post a video every single day for the entire year. It's a big process, but we're doing it, and I'm trying to get you guys that daily content while still being informational and uh, just a fun time. So my channel is gonna be entertainment and um, educational at the same time. I am pretty big into guns if you hadn't noticed. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Again, my name is Ryan. I do mud runs. I shoot guns. That's where Mud Gunner comes from. And I work in the gun industry. This year will be 10 years at uh, Arizona Firearms here in Arizona. And yeah, it's been a very fun journey and in getting into guns. So, and again, this is day 150 of posting a daily YouTube video. I started back in December. And again, we're going to go all the way through the end of the year. Next year, who knows? But uh, I, I don't plan on stopping YouTube anytime soon. So I would say since December, we've had a good amount of growth. We've gained about 5,000 subscribers. I would say my goal for this year, if we can make it happen, is 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys are enjoying the content so far, please tell a friend or a few friends. And let's see how big we can get this channel by the end of the year. I've been trying to get you guys weekly shooting videos. I'm trying to go for two times a week as we get into summer. The desert closes here in Arizona, so it might get a little bit tougher to do two shooting videos a week. But I've been doing two shooting videos a week for a little bit now. And uh, I'd say one of my biggest constraints is not having an off-road vehicle, which kind of sucks because my car doesn't really get me to the desert very well. So I've had a lot of good friends help me out and go shooting with me every weekend. And it's been a blast shooting with friends and staying consistent because sometimes um, prior to doing the YouTube daily, it was very easy to just get off track for a few months in my shooting. But I've been pretty consistent shooting every single weekend, trying to get you guys that content. And today's video is just going to be talking about some videos that I have coming up and some ideas that I have for the channel and just some projects that I'm working on. So this weekend, a couple days from now, we're gonna have a video comparing 300 blackouts. I have my Sig Rattler, I have my Q Honey Badger, and then we're gonna have my friends Daniel Defense PDW suppressed. And this Sunday, we're gonna be comparing all three side-by-side -side suppressed with a couple different rounds. Um, it's not necessarily a video where like one is the winner, but it's just showing how all three kind of function and how quiet they are. Um, if you're wondering which one's the quietest, I'll give you guys the sneak peek, and I'm gonna say it's the Rattler because I just recently upgraded to a Q Half Nelson suppressor. Before that, I was running a SIG SRD762 suppressor, but yeah, Rattler's extremely quiet, the Honey Badger's extremely quiet, and so is the Daniel Defense PDW. So that video is gonna come up Sunday, and then next week, either on Wednesday or on Sunday, we're gonna do a comparison video of the Serbu Super Shorty next to the factory Mossberg Compact Cruiser which this is a six and a half inch barrel. The Mossberg is a seven and a half inch barrel. They are very close in size. And uh, yeah, that video is either gonna go up next Wednesday or next Sunday. The reason is I uh, can't really shoot this weekend because of Mother's Day. So yeah, that's gonna put a hold on some shooting content, but I'm gonna hopefully be shooting next Sunday for you guys. So that video will go up next week. And then besides that, if you've been watching the channel, I just did a video the other day showing this. This is my uh, IWI Galil RPK build. So just a factory IWI Galil chambered in 7.62 by 39. It's a 16 inch barrel. And I decided it'd be a fun idea to turn it into kind of a Galil RPK. And it worked really well. Uh, again, that video went live on Wednesday. I was not running it suppressed because I still wanna make sure that the barrel and the suppressor are concentric. That's where you make sure that the suppressor has zero tilt to the barrel because otherwise you will baffle strike your suppressor. And that's kind of a known thing in 7.62 by 39 guns or AK style guns. So before I shoot the suppress, I just wanna make sure it's concentric. I got an alignment rod, so we're gonna be testing that here soon. And something I'd like to do, I also have this uh, CMMG Banshee chambered in 7.62 by 39. I think it'd be a fun idea to shoot these two suppressed in a video, and then maybe even compare them with the 300 blackouts, because these are both chambered in 7.62 by 39. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be a fun comparison video. I do have some subsonic 7.62 by 39, and then my 300 blackouts, I have plenty of subsonic ammo. So this one here is a CMMG Banshee, chambered in 7.62 by 39. We have a Dead Air Sandman S on this one. On the Galil, we have a Surefire RC 7.62 Mini. So yeah, I'm curious how well that's gonna run suppressed. I've never shot a subsonic 7.62 by 39 round suppressed before. So, um, and if you didn't know, 300 blackout 7.62 by 35 versus 7.62 by 39. So I think it'll be kind of comparable, but 300 blackout was built from the ground up for that round. So I obviously I think that's gonna be the winner but I still think it'd be a fun comparison video. So I wanna do that at some point. Um, another thing that I'm working on, I've had this for a little bit. I've shown it on the channel, but we haven't shot it yet. 
This is a GA Precision Gladius. It's a pretty high-end bolt-action rifle. Um, if you are wondering where you may have seen it from, this was uh, Chris Kyle's civilian sniper rifle of choice. If you're not familiar with Chris Kyle, he is the person that the story American Sniper is about. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice bolt action. I kind of bought it because of his story with it. And I ended up getting some other guns that were kind of commemorative to him. So yeah, I've been wanting a nice bolt action and this came to our store about a year ago and I bought it and it's kind of been sitting on the safe because I need to get a nice scope for it. This is not something that you just buy a $300 scope for and call it good. But yeah, I want to get a scope for this and shoot it on the channel. It's chambered in 308. I'm also trying to source an original suppressor for it, but it's a uh, old school Surefire suppressor. It's the FA762SS because it fits onto this muzzle vise very specifically. So um, they're kind of hard to find, but yeah, I want to get a suppressor for it and I want to get the scope for it and then we'll shoot that on the channel. I want to get more into long range at some point too. Haven't done it yet. Um, again, my constraint is not having an off-road capable vehicle. So when I get that, it'll be a little bit easier to do some longer range content for you guys. But until then, um, you're just gonna have to stick with the short range content, but I really like my short guns and just like my like short to mid range guns. They're a lot of fun. Um, one thing that I feel like my channel has been lacking on is pistol content. And the reason for that is I only have like one belt set up to run my pistols and it's for my shadow systems or my Glocks but uh, it's kind of tough. So I have this gun right here and I have a lot of pistols. It's just the issue I run into is not having holsters. So I borrowed this holster from our store today to see if it would fit this custom 320 build. And it's for a uh, SIG 320 with a TLR1, but it does not fit because this has a comp on there. So um, yeah, these holsters are a couple hundred bucks and I don't want to have to buy them every single time for a different gun. So that's kind of been my biggest constraint with not being able to show you guys much pistol content is I'd like to be able to run drills and run and gun and be like T-Rex arms, but uh, yeah, I just can't because holsters are expensive and I like buying used holsters. I did buy my Safari Land ALS for my Glock setups. And again, it was like 220 to like 250 ish by the time it was all said and done. So this is an expensive holster. And yeah, I kind of wait for them to come in used because this is like a hundred bucks at our store, which is a really good deal for a complete Safari Land ALS. If you need it, this is going to be back at our store tomorrow, but I just wanted to see if it would work for this, which it did not because of this comp. So I'd say that's one of the reasons why you don't see too much pistols on my channel is because um, I'm not as much of a different pistol shooter because I'm very holster limited. So until I can find a reliable source of holsters for all my fancy guns, um, yeah, well, it's just going to be a little bit more rifle heavy on the channel, which I like rifles more in general, but, uh, yeah, another thing that we're working on is I have a Bren 2 here. Got this a couple months ago. I really need a bracer stock for it. I want to SBR it cause it's an 11 inch, uh, it's a five, five, six Bren 2. We got a HB industries rail on here and yeah, I haven't shot this yet cause it's not really in a usable configuration for me, but we have iron sights. It's got a nice trigger. I have the 805 Bren, which is the first generation Bren. I did a video on that a few weeks ago. So go check that out. But yeah, another project that I'm working on, you'll notice I'm kind of working on a few different projects at a time. Uh, the store I work at, we get a lot of used guns. So if you're looking for any, go check us out. Again, it's Arizona Firearms. If you go to Arizona-Firearms.com, you can sort through our online store, which shows new guns, or you could go to our gun broker, which shows all the cool used guns that come through the store. So yeah, we get so much in, it's kind of crazy and overwhelming, but uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. So it's very hard to not buy guns, especially when I work every day of the week. So yeah, that's why I get a lot of interesting things, but I mean, all this stuff really just comes through our store and yeah, it's a fun place to work, but it's not fun for the wallet. But yeah, so that kind of makes it so I'm working on a few projects at a time. And then another thing I'd like to do is I'd like to do some more armor testing or uh, just some penetration tests. So I've been sponsored by AR500 before. I have a couple of their plates here and I uh, got to do some body armor testing. But, and I'm not necessarily biased to just AR500. They're a local Arizona company and I appreciate them sponsoring me with videos. So I'm either gonna reach out to them again for maybe some more armor to test, or I'd be open to trying some new things if you guys have any suggestions or you're an armor company that wants to sponsor the channel. Um, what I'm looking to do is I wanna shoot and compare 5.56 out of different barrel lengths. I recently got a 20 inch 5.56 here and I'd like to shoot it at some body armor because I know once the once you get into that 20 inches or maybe even longer, things get interesting with body armor because it's not necessarily the size of the round that beat, defeats it, it's the speed at which it's going. And a 20 inch barrel, 
sends some 55 grain ammo downrange pretty fast, but this is a one in seven twist barrel. It's gonna be a little bit better for 62 grain, but I'm actually getting a 24 inch one in nine twist 556. Five, so that is gonna be sending it pretty freaking fast. So yeah, I'd like to do some body armor testing on the channel and just show you guys the differences at what barrel lengths do to uh, body armor specifically. And I could maybe even just reuse these plates. So this one I shot a few years ago. We shot it with 556 and 762 by 54 r The biggest dent is right here with the 762 by 54 r but um, we have a lot of plate left over that I could probably shoot some other calibers at it or other barrel lengths of 556. But it'd also be nice to get some fresh targets to shoot at. So yeah, again, it's been nice to, it's been nice to have a channel and get sponsors here and there. I've never been given like guns or anything crazy. Well, no, that's not true. I got a gun from Dignity Defense, which is a local company. They make really good stuff. But uh, yeah, my channel's opened up some doors for me, which I appreciate and I'm very thankful for. And uh, yeah, I'd just like to do some more stuff, uh, again, for both entertainment and information, because I think education is important, but also it's nice to be entertained. You wouldn't watch it if it's just a boring channel. So again, I thank you guys for watching. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of the main thing that uh, is kind of going on. I'm always working on guns that I already have, trying to make them better or cooler. Not, not necessarily just cooler, but just build them up the way I want. And sometimes it takes a long time because I wait for very specific parts to come into our store used. I really don't buy any new guns. Like none of these here were new except for the Honey Badger. I bought that the second it was released and that was actually a really good time because cost has gone up on those since then. But yeah, suppressor wise, you, you end up buying suppressors new because it's kind of tough to buy them used. I am waiting on a couple used ones though. But uh, yeah. Secondhand stuff is great and uh, keeps the channel going and I'm in a position where I don't necessarily need guns to shoot for the channel because I buy a lot myself but looking into maybe some steel targets or body armor to test so if you know anyone that would maybe want to sponsor the channel with stuff that I could shoot at and destroy that'd be pretty cool but besides that thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed thank you for you know making it worth it posting 150 videos in a row and we still got another 150 plus to go so we're just halfway through the year almost, and yeah, we're gonna keep this train rolling. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video.